some of y'all are looking at this picture and wondering who this guy is but once you hear the story you'll it'll all come back to you especially since so much stuff has happened since this story first happened or occurred back in 2021 i believe it was it's crazy like how much time has passed even though it's only been about a little over two years but this is Karan Nazario. If y'all don't remember, he was the military personnel who went viral when he was basically questioned and pulled over, basically at a gas station by these cops. I My assumption is because he had a very nice vehicle and he did have a nice truck. And he basically got questioned by these cops. It was on their body cam footage. And they had their guns drawn at him. He was doing everything correct. They were trying to basically provoke him to do the quote unquote wrong thing. So they would have a reason or justification to shoot him while he was in his uniform. Excuse me. But it escalated when they ended up pepper spraying him or macing him right there on the camera to try to get him to act erratic so they could still have a reason to really mess with him. And it went completely left field like if y'all remember y'all know exactly what video i'm talking about and you know they ended up going to court they had a trial and they found them pretty much liable for what they did and this guy was supposed to get a one million dollar settlement well fast forward to this week of me recording this video and karan only got $3,685 of a $1 million lawsuit. That's all he got. He didn't get nowhere near the entire amount he was supposed to. If he was supposed to, if he got the whole amount he was supposed to get after lawyer and attorney fees, he would have still left out of there with six figures. He only got $3,685 of a $1 million lawsuit. That's how much they gave him. I keep telling people Virginia has a different type of racism. I mean, if you in Northern Virginia, that's one thing. But once you hit a certain invisible line going to Southern Virginia, that's pretty much it. But there's pretty much racism that's very different in the whole entire state of Virginia. But I know or familiar with which parts definitely are worse than the others. Now I'm going to read the article coming from ABC News. A black soldier in uniform who was pepper sprayed in his car by Virginia police during a traffic stop has been awarded less than $4,000 in a million dollar lawsuit against the two officers. The jury awarded second Lieutenant Karan Nazario a total of $3,685 in the lawsuit against Windsor, Virginia police officers Joe Gutierrez and Daniel Crocker. The officers face four counts, assault, battery, false imprisonment, and illegal search. Gutierrez was ordered to pay $2,685 in damages, no malice, under liability for the assault. He was cleared of all other charges. Crocker was liable for an illegal search, no malice. He was ordered to pay $1,000 in damages, and he was cleared of all other charges. So you see right there, both of them got a slap on the wrist. And they both had to pay bare minimum, uh, bare minimum in the lawsuit. Now, mind you, they were going, his attorneys were seeking a million dollars. $3,685 is a far cry from a million, way far of a cry. This man couldn't even crack 4,000. Nazario's lawyer, Tom Roberts, said it was a sad day and that the verdicts failed to send the message to other police officers that this conduct is unacceptable. It is open season on citizens in Virginia and across the country, Roberts said in a statement. Citizens will not rest assured that scenes like this are not repeated with impunity. The officers pulled over Nazario on the evening of December 5th, 2020. Okay, so it was 2020. I couldn't remember if it was 2021 or 2020. But I do know it did happen within the last couple of years. His body camera footage showed Gutierrez 
pepper spray Nazario when he would not get out of the car. One of the officers wrote in the police report that Nazario eluded police because he didn't stop right away. Nazario stated that he wanted to pull over into a well-lit area, which was smart on his part. And I do remember also now, because it's slowly coming back to me, that he when he pulled over into a lit area, it was at a gas station because he was like, nah, you ain't going to get me in a dark area where nothing can really be seen like that. And he knew that that's what they were trying to do. So he was smart on that aspect. And I remember when they was giving him commands, I think they were yelling out alternating different commands of him to do one thing and the other one's telling him to do another thing. They love to do that so they can, again, have a justification of to do what it is that they do. If they say, put your hands on the wheel, and one says, don't put your hands on the wheel, it's like, okay, what do you want me to do? Get out of the car, don't get out of the car. Get on the ground, don't get on the ground. They would that's what they were kind of doing. If you go back and listen to the video, you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm honestly afraid to get out, Nazario said during the traffic stop. Yeah, you should be Gutierrez replied. You heard that was his reply. Remember, this is one of the ones who only had to pay bare minimum and had all these charges dropped. Police said they pulled him over for not having a visible rear license plate, but in the footage, a temporary license plate can be seen in the rear window of Nazario's then new SUV. What I tell you, because he had a nice vehicle. Now, mind you, he was in uniform when this happened. Now, this picture is like a, a little bit later, probably because he had like he has a little bit of facial hair right here. But in the other one, all he had was the mustache and no facial hair. But. <clears throat> I truly believe it's because he had a nice vehicle, but he was in uniform when this happened. And at the time when it happened, I said, is anybody who's so-called a so-called patriot and all for the military, are they going to say anything? And I was talking to PC at the time because you know how they like to say, oh, you know, red, white and blue and God bless America and U.S. and, and chant all of this stuff. Where was their support behind this man? Oh, I know why it had nothing to do with his uniform. We can clearly know why they wasn't really coming out in big support for him. Because for them in that moment, they could care less if he was in a uniform. They were still going to support the other guys in their uniform over him. Nazario was not charged in the incident. Gutierrez was fired by the Windsor Police Department in 2021 for not following department policy during the incident. Well, what happened to the other guy? Did he still keep his job? That's what it sounds like to me. Remember, we always said they're not fired. They're transferred. So I wonder if he ever got a job working in another department. But there you go right there. That's the update. All he got out of this whole ordeal was less than $4,000. That's it. And if there's any attorney fees to come from that, did he even really get the entire $3,685? And if, if that was the case and he had to pay attorney fees, he really didn't have that. He got less than that. This man literally walked away with pennies. I'm sure he makes way more than that in the military. I'm very certain of that. They thinking they about to get a nice little payday, a nice chunk of change. But when they dropped them little charges, well, not even little, but those other charges, and all they had to pay was these small little insignificant fines that anybody could pay. Yeah, the fix was already in. They wasn't prepared to pay this man a million dollars. Even if there was attorney fees taken out of it, they wasn't about to let this man leave out with six figures at the least. They had that already made up in their head. Again, this is a man who's in the United States military. And they still did not care. So to all the black military people out there, let this be a lesson. Granted, this this don't let this video sway you if you want to join the military or not, or make you decide if you want to drop out of the military or not. Honestly. I, I know it's not for me, and I've heard stories from people who are in the military, for people who subscribe to me, who will tell you that this right here is not uncommon, especially for those who are in the military, and they'll tell you stories about how they really get down up in there. So you don't have to hear from me, a person who has been a civilian all of their life. So here you go right here. Don't think that because you have the, that uniform on that that's going to protect you because at the end of the day, it's what is who is wearing the uniform. 